that's the term smarter people than I would use. This place is hollowed. Old, dark wood desks and burgundy velvet padded seats with deep gothic wooden carvings all sit heavily in this cavernous room. Tall and thin vertical windows let the light shine in but obscure the view outside. The windows glaringly mimic the ominous and foreboding bars of a prison cell. I don't know if this is an omen of what's to come or the sadistic machinations of the model city courtroom's architects. The dank smell of cold but recently shampooed carpet hangs in the air as the audience, <laughs> sorry, the public, sit, sweat and fan themselves. Despite the generous number of seats, the old courtroom suffers from decades old ventilation. Buzzing air conditioners and squeaking overhead fans are barely enough to cast a breeze over the standing room only crowd. My name is Oscar Hammond. I would not have believed in my darkest dreams that I would be on the wrong side of the law or the wrong side of the ultra heroes. Even so, here I am, trapped in this echoing room, standing in my own little carved wooden box, staring at her, a judge with pale aged eyes and a dinkly wrinkled face. My fate, my life and my future are all precariously balanced within the loosely held gavel in her left hand. And I know that with the twitch of a wrist, she could end it all.